What's going on guys, Lon here from Android Authority and today at Google I.O. Google talked a little bit about the Android Wear update and the features that you can expect to see as this update begins to roll out to Android Wear devices. Now if you already have an LG Watch or Bane, you might already be pretty familiar with some of these features, but if you don't, these are some of the changes that you can expect to see as the update begins to roll out. So the first feature is called Always On and this keeps the display lit at all times in a dimly lit state so it doesn't drain your battery, but it still allows you to see your watch face and also other applications like Google Keep and Google Maps. So you can still do your grocery shopping or navigation without having to constantly tap or wake the display. And also other third party applications can tap into this feature as well. Google has also implemented a new feature called wrist gestures, which allows you to scroll through notifications just by simply flicking your wrist forward or backwards, uh, depending on the direction that you want to go. And this is supposed to be really helpful when you have your hands full and you need to see the notifications on your watch or your hands are just simply covered in chicken grease or something like that or you simply just don't want to touch the display on your watch and you want to be able to just look through your notifications quickly without having to interact with the display uh, this feature will allow you to do that you can also draw emojis now. So basically what it does is when you draw the emoji, it'll analyze your drawing and give you a list of emojis that it thinks you're trying to draw. And you just select the one that you want and send it off to your favorite contact. And it'll show up on their smartphone and their Android Wear smartwatch if they happen to have one. With the latest version of Android Wear also comes a new launcher and tapping on the display will show you a list of applications that you have installed on your Android Wear smartwatch and swiping over will show you your starred contacts and swiping over one more time will give you your standard Google search screen. This little bit of extra organization makes it easier to find your applications and contacts and helps to minimize the amount of vertical scrolling. Google also said at today's keynote that there are now over 4,000 apps for Android Wear and many of them are capable of taking advantage of the hardware and software for Android Wear. So for example, you can Uber a car ride just by simply doing a Google voice search. You can also do things like analyze your golf swing by using the watch's accelerometer and gyroscope, or use Shazam to listen and recognize a song using the watch's built-in microphone. Google's goal with Android Wear is to make it glanceable, actionable and effortless and that's what all of these new features and enhancements are all about and again you can expect to see this update rolling out to your android wear device very soon as always guys thank you so much for watching this video if you did enjoy it please give a thumbs up down below and also subscribe to the channel which is also down below if you haven't already and also check out the website AndroidAuthority.com for more in-depth coverage as we are your source for all things Android and Google I.O. 2015.